Hey everyone, it's Allison here with New Little Life. Today we're going to look at one of the new pumps that I've gotten that I've actually really kind of fallen in love with and it's the Super Genie from Pumpables. This pump has a lot of really cool features and I'm excited to show it to you. Okay, before we get started, if you need help choosing a breast pump, go and join our Facebook group and we can help you over there. I am also the most active on Instagram, so if you want like behind the scenes stuff, more pump info to connect with me and stuff like that, you can find me over on Instagram. So let's dive into this Pumpables Pumps. There's links down in the descriptions and coupon codes for you, so don't forget to check that out if you would like one for yourself. The first thing I noticed when I opened this pump was how well it was packaged. It came in this beautiful, it reminded me of opening like a Mac device. Have you ever opened like a Mac computer or something and it's like sleek and everything's all, be it was like that. <laughs> so it actually came with this little overlay on top of the pump and it gives you kind of a quick guide to the pump. So if you've used a pump before, you can just use this little overlay and it will tell you what all the buttons are and you can just go. So I thought that was really cool. This pump is, very similar in my opinion to like the Spectra. So just for a size comparison, you can see there the Spectra is definitely bigger and this one has that thing that folds down. So quite a bit smaller, but it has a lot of the same features. Like it has a nightlight, it has a handle, it has a battery. It's a good little pump. Oh, I just accidentally turned the nightlight on there. Can you see it? <laughs> it has three different modes. Anyway, really cool. Here in the back, you've got the charging port and then you can double pump or single pump, of course, like all the other pumps. This one's already charged. Let me show you how it works. This is a smart pump. You can actually use it with the app. It's pretty cool. They have set modes in the app. So if you want just like a default program, you can do that. I've also made a couple of programs myself and I can actually link those down below for you. So currently they have like flowers on them because that was the only pictures I had on my phone of whatever. But I've got one for power pumping, for just a regular pumping session, and for one that varies quite a bit. You can give those a try or you can make your own. So I'm actually going to control it with the app just for fun because we can. <laughs> Hopefully I can make it work and it doesn't make me look silly on my own video. Okay, so you can see, I'm gonna try and hold it so you can see the settings here. If I can find a good spot, okay. So this is the lowest uh, vacuum level on stimulation mode. So if you're confused about the modes and the levels and all that stuff, you can go watch a video on the channel all about suction and figure all that out. But here's that, so let's see how high we can get the vacuum. Five. Okay, and you can actually adjust the cycle speed on stimulation mode, which is cool. Not a ton of pumps let you do that, so that's really cool. You, that one was at 104. You can go from 72 to 104. And you do want a higher, let me turn the vacuum down so you can hear me. You do want a higher cycle speed in, in stimulation mode and letdown mode to help that milk start coming. So as soon as you feel a letdown, or whenever you, you want really, you can switch it over into expression mode. And this one does have a, a really short burst, which this is cycle level 40, which is a really low cycle level. It goes up in, two, in increments of two, which again is a really fine adjustment, and then up to level 70. So that's really cool, 40 to 70. Again, this is on vacuum level one. Let's see how high it goes. 11. And I got a little note on here when I pushed it up to 11, it said this is the highest vacuum level for this cycle speed. So I think if I decrease the cycle speed, I can go up higher. Yep. Now I'm on 14 vacuum. I decreased the cycle speed. Let me see if I can do it even more. How high can I get this one? Sweet. Now I'm on cycle level 40, which is the lowest cycles per minute that it does. And it went me, let me go all the way up to vacuum level 16. So I'm gonna have to run some more tests on my little booby barometer on this pump because that's really interesting. So pumps do that. They just, the cycle speed can only handle 
so much as the motor goes up for the vacuum. But it's interesting that you can actually customize it here and go higher when you're on lower cycle speed. That's cool. That's awesome actually, I really like that. You can customize that a lot. That might scare some people that there's just a lot of options. <laughs> if you're one of those people, just download the app and pick a program. And I'll, like I said, I'll link mine down below. They're very simple. And all you have to do on a program, let me show you. You can go to the programs and then you can do manual, which is what I was just doing to go up and down in the, the speeds. Or you can go to the default program. And here's what it will do. Two minutes on vacuum two, cycle 104. Then it's gonna go to six minutes up the cycles a little bit, then it's gonna go back to two minutes, six minutes. I'm guessing it's switching back and forth between, well, it'll go into expression mode after it finishes stimulation, but it's kind of adjusting things a little bit for you. I wonder if you can click that letdown button at the top when you get a letdown. It might. Anyway, so it's not gonna have you just going straight out, which you can. You can just pick your setting, when you fill it down, switch it and go. You might get a little bit more milk switching it up like this. So this program will let you just, it'll just go. It'll just do it for you and you don't have to think about it. So that's actually pretty cool. They also have a tutorial program for you if you wanna be walked through this pump one thing at a time, okay? So that's really cool. Not a lot, the app doesn't have tons of stuff which I actually really like. It has everything you need. And there you go. It was actually really easy to make these programs that I'm showing you right here. So here's a power pumping one that I made. So I did two minutes in stimulation, 10 minutes in expression mode. And then I put a pause on for 10 minutes. So the pump will shut off. You can just leave it attached to you. And then it's gonna turn back on to stimulation mode. Yep, I put the vacuum down a little bit lower again, just so you don't go like that. Um, and then it will switch into expression, another pause. Put the vacuum up a little bit higher here towards the end just because that's probably what I would need. But again, you can actually, do you know what I did? I found a program that was similar to this and I just adjusted it to what I wanted. So it's really, really easy. It's not rocket science to make a program and then you can just pump however you want. So that's really cool. You can also do your programs all on the pump. If technology and Bluetooth scares you, you can do it all right here. There's a little P and that's how you're gonna program stuff, okay? It's very simple, very easy to do. You can even record. So now this is recording, and it will record the session that you do. So when you switch up the modes or the vacuum or something, it will record that, and then at the end, you can just set that as your program, and you don't have to do it again. You can tap the power button for a pause if you need to just like a break or something, and then you can resume. It's timing the pump, which is great battery life, it tells you what mode you're in. It's a really cool, there's a lot you can do on that pump. Programming is super easy. Look, I'm programming it right now. Awesome, so cool. Okay, so let's look at a couple extra specs on this program. I've got the manual here and I'll kind of tell you if that lines up with what we just saw. So the vacuum range, 15 to 330 mmHg. So that is quite a large range. The fact that you can go clear down to 15 is, is very low. So if you need a wide range of suction, again, on that suction video, you can learn all about that. And 330 is really high. I did some tests on this, on my home tests, and I was able to get um, around 300. In my opinion, that's enough room for user error that it probably does go up plenty high for you. You're not gonna have any problems. It did, this was interesting. I tested it plugged in and it did give me a little bit better suction. So you would do is a little bit of suction when it's not plugged in, when you're using the battery, but that's typically true of, of all pumps. So it does list again, the cycle speeds in stimulation and expression mode. And again, it's not that common to be able to adjust the cycle speeds in stimulation mode in the first mode when you're trying to stimulate that letdown. So that's actually pretty cool that you can. Net weight is 1.12 kilograms, 2.64 pounds. So this isn't the lightest pump, it definitely has some weight to it, but I don't really care. It's small and you're probably going to be using it at a desk or at home. I love it. It would be awesome on my nightstand. I love the nightlight feature and it's small enough to put in my purse, which is awesome. They do make a small pump, a portable pump, the Advance, with some of these same features. So you can find that in another video that I'm filming after this one. <laughs> Time to charge four hours and battery life 2.8 hours. That's consistent with what I have been finding as well. And 
and motor life 500 hours that's pretty consistent with a lot of pumps and honestly plenty i think you could probably pump for three hours a day so you know five six times a day for a year and still have some extra life on there that's a lot of pumping if you were an exclusive pumper i think you could definitely get away with this probably for the lifetime that of that baby that you'll need to be pumping so that's cool Ooh, this was cool too the charging port for it came with a ton of different plugs, which as a military person living overseas, I love, love, loved. So here's your standard like US one. They also had one of these, which I'm assuming is maybe um, the Philippines or maybe China, something like that. Anyway, that's cool. I'm obviously using the European one since we're here in Europe right now. They also had a UK one and all of those came just standard with it really easy to switch out so thank you for doing that <laughs> this is not a usb it's just a regular power adapter but it's obviously dual voltage and everything that you'll need i really love it when companies think of these little features like this thing when you pulled it out of the package or multiple pump adapters so so cool it says the noise is less than 50 db and i also have a video on the channel of the quietest breast pumps this one was not on the list because i didn't have it yet um, but it would probably fall um, somewhere between numbers five and eight, if I'm remembering that right. So it's a pretty quiet pump. It would fall um, lower on the list, which is awesome. So in the kit, you get the pumpables pump and the chargers, and then you get two liquid shield kits. Okay. I actually bought an extra liquid shield kit because I wasn't sure if it came with that but it does it comes with two <laughs> and this is kind of its own thing there's a video over on instagram where i walk you through this and i set it up and pumped it with a balloon because this is not really like a traditional anything that i've seen this is a closed system pump so you've got the backflow protector right on there setup was really easy cleaning is really easy the interesting thing about this pump is that this liquid shield kit now you can this tubing is standard so you can use whatever phalange kit you are comfortable with or you want to it doesn't matter these little adapters are very easy this kit though is interesting i've never seen anything like this before so you've got this piece and then this is the insert in here so it's got the duckbill valve and everything right on it this little piece looks a little bit different too do you see how it kind of bubbles right there and this phalange is huge can you see how wide that is no one would ever pump with that and again, this is, is quite different. So this is actually a 21 millimeter size, which is the size that I like to use if 19 or 20 is not available. So that whole piece goes in here and then you're pumping with this really soft silicone on the outside of the flange, which in and of itself is more comfortable than the hard plastic. And then can you see this? Can you see how there's extra space in between the flange and that insert I just put in. So when it's pumping, it's like suckling your nipple. It's really cool. Um, I showed you in that Instagram video. I'll link it down below for you. Way cool. I love this, this um, kit. I would use this if I was pumping just because it was so comfortable. I would probably use it on whatever pump I had. Again, a link with some coupons is down in the description, but I was super impressed. I don't actually have anything bad to say about this pump. I think the cost was around $200, $250, something like that. Um, and again, there's coupons down below for you. I really can't think of anything bad that I don't like about this pump. So that's awesome. Great option for you. I've seen it occasionally as an option with insurance companies, so you can definitely check. Uh, but if you're buying a pump outright, this is an awesome option. If you have questions, you can ask me here or you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, like we told you at the beginning. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.